When you've been invited to join a WebEx meeting, there are a couple things you need to know before you log in. First, you need to make sure you have a modern, updated browser. This would be something like Firefox or Google Chrome that has the most recent updates. Don't use something like an old version of Internet Explorer or a browser that you are not familiar with. In addition, when you get into the WebEx interface, there should be some links on testing whether or not WebEx will work with your machine, and then it'll have you download, download certain things that will make it work. Make sure to go through all those steps the first time that you ever get into a WebEx meeting. If you ever have trouble, your invite email has a contact support link that'll help you get into the meeting, so make sure you leave enough time for that. Now, once you get this invitation, the, all you have to do is click on the WebEx meeting link and note also that there's a meeting number in case you need to join that way and a meeting password if it's necessary for you to use a password. But for this meeting, the instructor has set it up so that all you need to do is log in. First, we need your name and this is whatever name you want to be listed in the participant area and then put your email address. I'll uncheck remember me because I don't want this to be saved on a public computer and then click join. Once you join, if everything works correctly, it's going to load the Cisco WebEx Meeting Center and you should be able to see yourself via webcam if you have a webcam on your computer. And we'll talk about how to make sure we set this up correctly in a later video. So we'll go ahead and click the little X button. And the next step you need to do is make sure that your audio is working correctly and we'll talk about that in the next video.